Hello everybody, my name is Mark Hanchett, founder and CEO of Atlas Motor Vehicles, and today we're gonna to talk about the pillar here within Atlas, which is energy, and why that is such an important thing for us. As we look to the future of electrification, it is not just about the vehicles that we're building here at Atlas, but that is a foundational piece as to why we're actually attacking that particular market. There's a diverging curve today between the number of vehicles that are coming and the available battery capacity from a manufacturing standpoint that's out there in the market today, and the number of investments that have to be made. We see an opportunity to go out there and grab a large chunk of that market with the technology that we're building for our own vehicles, as well as facilitating success for our vehicles over the next couple of years. By 2030, there's gonna be roughly 200 gigawatt hours of capacity needed just here at Atlas Motor Vehicles in order to, in order to actually push that out. But we're looking at the larger market, the 14 million vehicles that are out there and what that opportunity presents for us as well. There's also a market opportunity that no one's really attacking or, address or addressing today. It's the equipment side of things. Yes, we're building vehicles, but there's those smaller niche markets, those opportunities for pumps out there. Uh, maybe it's a grinding system. Maybe it's a, another piece of agriculture equipment or, or a piece of construction equipment that has to be powered by electricity and a battery pack system. And Atlas looks at those opportunities, all of which operate in that ecosystem that we talk a lot about, which is work and how we can bring that all together. We're building energy storage systems for the vehicle application itself. Why don't we put that in some of these vehicle applications or equipment applications that are somewhat niche within the market? And how do we bring all of that together within an ecosystem of both service, as well as service maintenance, fleet management, as well as the charging network? If we look at that particular market as a whole, again, it's another opportunity. There's 14 million vehicles coming to the market over the next 10 years. The charging infrastructure is growing at a pace like this, but the vehicle pace is growing like this. It's a diverging curve. And if we're gonna really shift the world to electrification, we have to go out there and build that infrastructure. We gotta build, go out there and build that support. It's also a marketable opportunity for Atlas Motor Vehicles to go out there and take a chunk of that. There's a lot of reasons why we're building out that support network and infrastructure to build a positive customer experience for Atlas customers, but we're also very interested in the market as a whole and what opportunities that represents. So, while we're building a 1.5 megawatt charging station for our vehicles like the XP platform and XT pickup truck initially, as well as the equipment that will be powered by Atlas technology, we're also looking at CCS technologies and other opportunities that are out there as we look to build out a charging ecosystem. But then there's the utility side of it as well. We're building energy storage to go into vehicles. We're building energy storage to go into equipment. We're looking at the charging ecosystem and how that facilitates that. But there's the other side of it. How do we tie all of that together? Maybe it's remote energy storage for a construction project. Maybe it's a commercial building like here at Atlas Motor Vehicles headquarters, or perhaps it's at your home. There's lots of opportunities as we look to the future of utility companies as that entire infrastructure and market changes where we can leverage the technology that's going into the Atlas pickup truck put that into residential and commercial spaces, and then we finally have that ecosystem as a whole come full circle, building one holistic solution for our potential customers or our customers of the future. And of course, long-term, what do we look at when we think about utility companies? We look at, you'll no longer pay for consumption. This idea that you pay per kilowatt hour that will completely disappear by 2030, and we'll be looking at pay for access. That is the future of utility. That is how we facilitate this future of electrification, whether it's vehicles, equipment, or the charging ecosystem. It's one payment, one simple ecosystem, one thing that just works, so you can worry about everything else that's important in your life. And that's why Atlas Motor Vehicles looks at energy as a big part of our business.